fairway woods are so important for any golfer looking to unlock their best golf. They are easier, yes, easier to use than long irons if you get the technique correct. You can do this, trust me. Let's work on this technique together. A fairway wood is easier to hit than a long iron, quite simply because it's bigger. Also, the sole of the club is large, smooth, and flat. This helps the club slide and skid through impact without digging into the ground. Because the weight is pushed to the outside of the club and generally further back, it's easier to get elevation. Obviously, the biggest issue for many golfers is loft. Fairway woods are usually used for longer shots, so obviously they have less loft. The ball needs to be going further. The natural tendency with a fairway wood is to lean back and try and scoop the ball into the air. And with a fairway wood, this often spells disaster. So the first thing we need to work on is trust. There is enough loft to get that ball in the air, trust me. On a side note, if you are looking to add some more clubs to your bag, get a seven wood. You will not regret it. Replace those long irons, get a seven wood. Fairway woods are usually a little bit longer in length, so we need the ball position further forward in the stance. If you want more videos as well on basic setup routines for golf, get down to those comments below, let me know. I'm also gonna be down there answering your questions as well. So I've got the ball positioned here in the middle of my feet and they are together. I'm gonna to take a tiny step with the lead foot and then take a bigger step with the trail foot. This puts the ball position forward in the stance. That's gonna put the ball position pretty much opposite the left chest. With a fairway wood shot, you're looking to sweep the ball away at the very least. If not, hit the ball first and then brush the turf afterwards. Notice where the center of my chest is at address. I will turn away from the ball in the backswing, but then try and get the center of my chest pretty much covering that ball at impact. It's important that I don't lean back and try and scoop the ball up in the air. That's where thins and tops can come from. A really good drill here is to take a tee, pop it in the ground and just leave the very top poking above the surface. The goal here is to come through the ball and just try and clip this tee peg out of the ground. This is gonna stop me leaning back and make sure I move towards the target. You can also do this at a driving range with a small rubber tee as well. So with those practice swings, move, cover the ball with the chest, try and sweep the ground. Imagine you're clipping that tee peg off. Guys, if you've liked this video, make sure you take a screenshot now. You can actually have a look at this information when you're on the course, when you're at the driving range. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you become a subscriber to the Swing Quest channel. I've literally hit like three of the best three woods of my life doing this demonstration. Continue your swing quest here, looking at some of the essential shots you need to know from 100 yards and in.